happy Sunday, everybody. It's May 1st, and it may be the end of the Triple S Vitas. Vlog every day in April, but it is the start of what I'm going to call the DV, which is my daily vlog. And I'm going to try to have a daily vlog every day, as well as the Sunday's main show, Two Loose Bricks. Now, I may not have one every week, but I'm going to try my darndest to get it done. I'm, this is something I really want to do. That being said, I need my coffee and also a vlog out of the coffee. And you're wondering, what am I talking about? Well, I commented on a video by Sarah Haley on her channel, Sarah Haley, about, about being environmentally friendly and her mason jars. Well, here in Canada, we use mason jars for lots of things. And not only just for storing stuff in, but we use them for coffee. So much that they even came out with a country style glass mug cup, whatever you want to call it, that looked very similar to the mason jar with a handle on it. And this came out back in the 90s. So we use them for everything, but coffee is a big thing. So let's go have some coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh, yum, yum, yum. I so need this right now. Oh, yes gonna be the best. <laughs> all right so I got my coffee all ground up here and I'm not gonna actually put it in here because that's grinds right so I'm sinking in some coffee. I'm not doing this in the coffee this morning. I gotta have my perk coffee this morning. Yeah, right, gotta get my coffee before I can do much of anything this morning here. And I'm just perking it here in my little personal perk filter machine. Going right into the good old mason jar, just like that. This is a repurposed mason jar from a bottle of spaghetti sauce. And I look for those. I really like that brand of spaghetti sauce. So, I mean, the bonus of it is I get an mason jar of it for my coffee in the morning. I got a whole bunch of them in the cupboard. Um, yeah, so these things are fantastic for coffee. Uh, they hold quite a bit. You know, these are the 16 ounce bottles. So, uh, you can get a lot of coffee or tea or whatever you drink into it whatsoever. In uh, uh, you know, it comes with the lid, the, the cover, of course. Um, so yeah, so it's perfect. I mean, you can buy them by the boxes if you want, uh, for like canning purposes and stuff like that in the fall type of thing. Uh, a lot of people do that around here. And uh, anyway, I got good old. Newfoundland Screech Rum Flavored Coffee and I had to grind these up. These are fresh so uh, that's what I'm having this morning and uh, they'll give me a kickstart to my morning peeps. Now where my family comes from the province of Newfoundland do not drink cow's milk. They drink tin milk which is like your carnation instant milk and that's what I'm going to have in here right now just to show you that it is pretty yummy um, just straight up like that. Um, However, regular milk is good too, and I just ran out. That's not enough in there for me, so I'm going to have to put some regular milk in there. I drink either I drink either tin milk or goat's milk because I have a lactose problem. So, there we go. I like my coffee. Morning coffee in a mason jar. Mason jars. Oh yeah, gotta love them. They're in my cupboards. They're everywhere. 
They're just everywhere. They're taking over my cupboards. Ah! Now this one here is a little different. This is not really a mason, true mason jar. It's in the form of one. It's called the drinking jar. It has a handle on it. And I have a couple green ones and a blue one. I did have an original mason one years ago, uh, but it broke, unfortunately. Um, but it has the same type lid on it. And see, I got more up there. They're everywhere. So you can put the lids on these, and, you know, they won't spill, and everything will keep warm and everything. So um, they even make lids for these things that have a hole in the top. I don't have one. You can put a straw down through. Um, so yeah, some people use these more so than they use uh, travel mugs because I've seen them um, come on the bus and that with uh, with these, and uh, simply because uh, there's a policy on the bus that they cannot have paper cups. It has to be in a travel mug or a sealed uh, container. Even though if you because uh, because of the fact that if the bus had to stop quick or something and coffee could get squat and spilt and someone got burnt. There was a child got burnt years ago apparently so that's the reason behind that. Even though these things do break if they fall they're in a sealed container and they're not squishable like a paper cup. And there's my toaster so let's get the toast into us now and... Coffee's done. It hasn't hit me yet. I'm back in the chair and it's nice and sunny out. So I think I might go for a little trot out in the backyard just to get some fresh air and get some creative ideas flowing for tomorrow's vlog as well as well what am I going to do for today's main show anyway talk to you later bye bye